Mark, I guess it's not really about the numbers for you, is it? It's, it's about the updates. So, so bring us up to speed. You've started production on the truck. How, how many have been delivered and how many more do you expect for the year? Sir, we, we started production last quarter and this quarter we're shipping to customers. Uh, we've shipped 11 uh, saleable trucks to the dealers for customers so far and we're producing steadily now and we're ramping up production. So I think that's the reason for the favorable reception is that we're in the, we're in the phase of generating revenue and ramping up production. What's the reception for, from the 11 trucks? I know it's a small sample that you've delivered and, and what type of customers? Well, we actually had a fleet of 40 pre-series trucks that were out with customers before, you know, starting in December. We started delivering those pre-series trucks to fleets for testing. And the reception so far has been awesome. Uh, we started our earnings call this morning with a video where they're interviewing customers, fleet executives and drivers, and they're thrilled with the truck. The trucks run, the trucks run like champs. So what, what's happening on the production side of things? Are you able to ramp that up or is it tougher in this kind of environment with some of these supply chain issues of key battery inputs, for instance, that we see other EV makers struggling to get? Sarah, that's the that's the key issue right now. This is the toughest supply chain environment I've ever, I've ever seen in my career. Uh, it's really, really tough. So we're going to be supply chain limited, not production capacity limited. But we think we've lined up, in, thanks to the efforts of a world class supply chain team, we've lined up enough parts to build up to 500 trucks this year. So we're really excited about that. And we think that's an incredible achievement in this supply chain situation that we're dealing with right now. You know, we're down. It, it's it's a brutal day in the market, down 1,300 points on the Dow. I know I know you've got your, your story that you're focused on, ramping up production. But, Mark, do you worry about the economy here? Because that's certainly going to impact demand for trucks and, and companies upgrading their fleets. Well, the economy affects us all, of course. But we're focused on the long term here. We're, we're trying to ramp up production of our battery truck. We're trying to be able to start production of the fuel cell truck next year and then make sure that we've got charging infrastructure for the battery trucks and hydrogen infrastructure for the fuel cell trucks. That's our singular focus uh, going forward. What about, does, does the fact that we've seen diesel prices skyrocket, does that help you? Because that's, of course, what powers most of the trucks out there right now. It, it doesn't hurt. Uh, it doesn't hurt our prospects. It hurts the economy overall, of course, because that, that raises costs for just about everything. Um, it certainly does uh, tend to accelerate the, the impetus for switching over. You know, the higher cost for the diesel yeah. fuel and the more uh, the more mandates against it that are spreading, uh, you know, the more likely people are to consider switching. And, and just one more on the stock market and just on your stock in particular, Mark, which has been pretty volatile. I, th I think you're winning back some credibility on Wall Street after, you know, a rough start and some concerns about whether it was even a real company. But the, the whole sell off and the concerns about higher interest rates has impacted any kind of speculative play on Wall Street where your pre-revenue company, obviously you're going to get dragged into the selling. How, how are those conversations with investors going? How do you view the stock price? Well, I think the exciting thing today is we are now a revenue company. It wasn't much, a couple million dollars, but we're now in the mode of shipping vehicles and, and get, generating revenue. And we're looking forward to growing that quarter by quarter as we go forward from here. It's an exciting watershed for us to become a revenue company.